Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. I saw this post on the forum and it didn't make MCC news because I wanted to test it out first just to kind of like see if this was a thing. And what is this thing? Daredevil unfreezes and evades second hit of Iceman's SP2. Now I thought this was a bit kind of uh, interesting, something to kind of like test out. Was this meant to be something that the developers put in for whatever reason that this was a kind of a counter? Yes. It's a class disadvantage to put a skill up against a mutant. And yes, Iceman is pretty darn powerful. So kind of putting a Daredevil against an Iceman would be pretty darn unfortunate for the Daredevil. But if that evade that is built into Daredevil's signature ability is any good and anything to go by, then why shouldn't it evade that SP2? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to test that out. In the one underscore nuclear onions poster, that's a great name by a nuclear onion. My God, that's going to be some incredibly powerful and smelly farts. He says that the first part of Iceman's SP2 essentially freezes the opponents in place and then he drops the ice from above. But then Daredevil unfreezes and evades it. So obviously that kind of goes into that, yeah, okay, that special ability that he should do, but... Mm, he then goes on to say that uh, it should be different than the first part being a flying object. The free should essentially disable his evade, which is, again, a good point to kind of undermine that. But obviously, we need to really put that into practice and see that in this video. So let's get a daredevil and put him into some action and try and see if we can, you know, exploit this and see if this actually is correct. And uh, if not, it's going to be a bit of fun in the future. And just to point out, this is the source that I use to kind of collect information on who to duel. This is for kind of like, it's got higher ones. It's got a real kind of like mixture of different like champions in here. So it is well worth a look. It's kind of a Russian site. It's a kind of a thing like True Course is, uh, but obviously a little bit for the Russian community, but it has English translation within it. So a link to that is in the description because uh, it's like nbch.guides and it's like champions and it's got then got some stuff in russian so link is in the description for it if you're looking for some hard champions to kind of face off against practice off against and uh, and become better players there's a lot of 555s uh, of five stars and then they've got some of uh, of four stars to to train up against also i might just quickly point out they use domamu's uh, as a capito uh, scar 438 at uh, you know 32 signature and the thing is if mine is higher signature, right, maybe they should, they should choose mine. Like, choose, choose mine because mine's mine's more of a kind of a, a opponent to face up against at uh, at 41 signature. So yeah, face off against mine. Uh, if they ever do a dual tar target and look for a higher one, you know, they choose Rich the Man's Storm Armor. That'd be better for them. Right, we're ready to roll with our fight against Iceman. I've chosen LMP14. The reason I've chosen this guy is because. Uh, it's a four star. I did do some experimenting with a five star and I got absolutely annihilated before I even kind of got to the champion. So I need something that's going to be, it's going to take a little bit more to be defeated as Daredevil. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to give it a go. Hopefully I can build him up to the L2 and then we can hit out from there. The worry is he's going to do the L1, but you never know. You do hope for the best with these things. Come on, don't do your L1. Right, if I can do this, I can just build him up a little bit. There we go. If I do my special now, we've pushed him over the L2 mark. And now I need to get... Come on, hit me with the L2. I know you want to do it. I know you want to hit me with the L2. There we go. Frozen. And it evades out. It, it It's a correct. It That is absolutely correct on the forum, it seems. That is... Uh, that's, that's insane. It's like the freeze aspect... He breaks the freeze, so therefore breaks any kind of point um, based on like Iceman in, in general, which is kind of like we'll try. We'll try and see if we do it again. We'll die, but that's fine, right? The point has been proved there that the L two that that concept is uh, is pretty weird. That you're frozen solidly in ice, and then he kind of then evades out to the projectile. Like that ice wasn't so strong of Daredevil. Uh, which is kind of weird. So this is the argument now, like from a concept of source material wise, this is completely stupid. From a game application from the point of the signature ability of uh, Daredevil, 
yes, he should have that. But technically, based on Iceman's L2, he should be in a state of being frozen. A lot of people will argue that he should do, and even go as far as to say that with the evades, like, how bastardized should we make this that um, he should be able to kind of kind of come out of that ice as if it was nothing in particular does his force break the ice and then he evades out of it because he has that sensory kind of i i really am just trying to like make this as a justified case because it is completely ridiculous to think of something cased in solid ice to then break out of it based on that obviously it should break in any case based on him being kind of like hit by the projectile after the point of being frozen by the same token, it could be argued that Iceman's L2 should be a little bit more stricter on things. Like, would would it be uh, a, so bold to say that Iceman should then reduce down signature ability of certain champions? Like saying, well, whilst uh, Magic is under the L2 moment, uh, if she had a Limbo, then it wouldn't apply to her being uh, regenerating health based on damage taken. The same thing, obviously, would be Daredevil, that he should not be able to evade out there, nullifying his signature ability based on this. So there is a kind of new argument that springs to mind, like how much uh, change would they need to make for Iceman in order to this to be kind of correct um, to... Well, again, it's just like, if you're meant to be frozen, you're frozen, and you're not able to kind of gain any benefit from that, from signature ability. How strict could Kabam go on this with regards to a fix? I don't know, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now, if you enjoyed this little video, which I put together, then please give it some support and like, um, and obviously comment on the forum post, because that's pretty cool as well, to kind of give your feedback to other people, and whether or not we should be making a big deal out of this, uh, or just going, man, we can, just, you know, just tuck this underneath the rug like it's not a big deal uh, but still fun uh, for all the family even when uh, you're not being frozen by <laughs> by Iceman so yeah thanks very much for watching up and rich man if you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe for more Marvel Contest of Champions based content notifications on please and uh, follow me on social media links in the description below and I shall catch you on the flip side bye bye for now